All right, folks. So in this video, we are going to be playing around with this Dr. Prepare. It's a LifePo 100 amp hour battery. Um, I did want to say that I was contacted by Dr. Prepare and they sent me this battery free of charge in exchange for some video reviews. Now, this video is not going to be the full review of this battery, but it's going to be one of the specific tests that uh, we're going to do. And I wanted to show the test in more detail than I will in that video. So here we are. Um, let's go ahead and get started and I'll explain exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so when you look at this battery, uh, one of the things that you can see here is your max discharging current uh, is at 100 amps. And this thing has a BMS um, in it to protect it. And a BMS is a battery management system. So what should happen is this would cut off at 100 amps. Uh, it says max charging current, 50 amps. When you do battery capacity tests, you typically will run these at uh, what they would call a 0.2C or 20% of capacity. And that would be 20 amps in our case. We're actually gonna run this at, uh, at 15 amps. And that means the test should take anywhere from six and a half uh, to six hours and 45 minutes, somewhere around there. And we are gonna consistently drain current at a rate of 15 amps an hour from this battery. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, one of the things I was going to say is, is I did charge this battery up using a, a charger that I plug into the wall. I did not charge it using solar panels. Uh, we are going to charge it uh, with solar panels in the, uh, in the full review video. But let me go ahead and get the, uh, the charger that I used, and I'll show that to you right now. So we use this uh, Noco Genius 10, which is a 10 amp hour uh, charger. So it puts 10 amps, give or take. Uh, per hour into your battery and uh, we were able to charge the battery up fully to the point where it's BMS shut down and it stopped taking in current. I waited 24 hours, I hooked this up again and I started charging again and it only ran for a few minutes before it shut off again. The Nico Genius is capable of uh, charging lead, uh, sealed lead acid batteries, floating uh, lead acid batteries I think is what they call them, as well as lithium batteries. So uh, this worked well for the job and I kind of highly recommend this thing. I doubt I'll do a video on it because it's, it's pretty simple. You connect it to the battery, you plug it into the wall and you put your settings on. It's uh, pretty simple to figure out. Also, uh, the device that we are going to use, and I have a video on this if you're interested, is this CBA-4 uh, and it is a computerized battery analyzer. And uh, we're gonna use this, we're gonna connect this to our battery via these uh, power pole connectors. And, uh, and then we're gonna start the discharge test. And I'll show you how we set that up in the software. Oh, one last thing, this is a cable that I built. Um, I do have 20 amp fuses on the positive and negative. Uh, somebody will probably make a comment about that down in the, uh, in the comment section. And uh, this is a 10 gauge wire. And then I put these, um, ring connectors or ring terminal connectors on here to connect directly to the battery. So it will plug in this way into our CBA four and uh, then connect to the battery. Let me go ahead and get that set up and then uh, we'll, start, we'll start with the test. Okay, so we have this plugged into the computer via USB. And if you're more interested in seeing how this device works, go ahead and check out the video that uh, I have on it. Also, here's our power pole into our fused cable that we made uh, connected to the battery terminals. The way we're situated here is I can't show you the battery terminals and the way they're hooked up. You're just gonna have to trust me. All right, let's get over to the screen where we configure our test parameters. Okay, so here is where we have our test parameters. And what I'm gonna do is on this right-hand side, I'm gonna click the detect button and it's detecting our voltage at 14.2. So this battery is freshly topped off. Um, it says it's got four cells. I don't necessarily believe that's true. It's probably four cells, which are each banks of cells. Um, but we're gonna go over here and we have our cutoff voltage set to 10. If our BMS cutoff voltage is higher than that, it will cut off before then. And then our test amps, let's see what it suggests. It says test at 0.45 of an amp. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test at 15. So let me grab my keyboard real quick. Okay, keyboard is, <laughs> is engaged. And uh, let's go ahead and type one five. So we're gonna do a 15 amp um, test. And then we are just going to do the discharge test. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click start and then our test should begin. Test amp specified exceeds the rating of CBA. Please enter test values less than 10.54. 
I thought that the CVA did 10 point, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought it did 40 amp discharge. Hmm, so let's just go ahead with 10. So we're actually looking at a 10 hour test here, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run it anyway. I don't know if you can hear that, but the uh, device, the fan is spinning. And here we go. Now we'll come back and we'll check on this from time to time. Okay, so as you can see here, we got a little bit of an unexpected result. Um, the test aborted, and it was saying that the device, the CBA, the computer-based analyzer, or the computerized battery analyzer, as it's called, um, hit too high of an internal temperature. So that's not exactly what we want. It stopped at 38 minutes into the test after discharging the battery for 6.424 amps. Um, we're gonna have to figure something out, so uh, I will be back once I do. You are. All right, folks, so we're gonna attempt this battery test again. Uh, I've got the battery right here, and then you can see we're connected in via these rings like we were last time. We're plugged into the CBA-14, and we got a secret weapon. I got this fan, and so I'm gonna have this fan pointed at the CBA-14 too uh, to hope that it doesn't overheat this time. So here we are back at the test software. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit detect and it detects our voltage at 13.8. So this is fully charged. It has just been uh, sitting on the shelf for about a day or two. And uh, our test amps here are set at 10 and our cutoff voltage is set at 10. Um, we're going to just go ahead and we're going to do we're going to do the test. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click the start button. There we go. And now I'm going to point this fan at the device. All right, we'll be back in a little bit, and uh, we're going to see where we are. All right, folks, so here we are. We're a little over six, seven hours into the test, and uh, we've got 65 amps that have come out of the battery so far, according to the chart. It's looking good, and it's looking like my fan trick to cool the, the analyzer off is working for us. So I'll come back when the test is done. See you soon. Just a quick peek from above. Here is the analyzer and here is the fan that uh, I have blowing on it. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, folks, the test is complete. I clicked on the little box that was popped up to tell us the test was complete, so we're going to miss that. But if we look over here into the right-hand portion of the screen, and I'll zoom in on that, uh, we can see that the test is complete at 98.8 amps. And uh, I feel good about that. Uh, there's a couple of different things. We had a cutoff of 10. It might have gone a little bit lower. Um, I mean, it gone a little bit longer if we had dropped it a little lower. I don't know. I'm happy with 98.8. To me, that is, uh, that, that's within spec. That's within range. If we take a look at our watt hours, it's 1,261. The test ran for 593 minutes, which is just a few minutes shy of 10 hours. Um, this is amps 9.9999. That was the load that we had on the battery. So I'm happy. Uh, we're going to do a full feature review of the Dr. Prepare battery, but because this test takes so long, I just wanted to knock it out in a separate video. So uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.